Hi guys, welcome to Motivational Monday. Today we're talking about something that is a work in progress for me. However, it's also something that I feel is very important towards our self-love journey, and that is boundary setting. I'm going to start by defining what a boundary is. A boundary is something that indicates a limit. Simple enough, right? However, I don't feel we set enough boundaries in our work relationships, in our personal relationships, romantic, friendship, family-wise, whatever the case, I don't feel like it's something that we do enough. And we have these boundaries, but I don't know that we're going about setting them properly. So I wanted to deep dive a little bit into this topic. Um, and it's one of those things where like, I'm learning as we go. <laughs> really and truly. But one thing that I have learned over the course of this self-love journey is that we teach people how to treat us by what we allow. Um, Good, bad, or indifferent, the treatment that we're receiving in our everyday lives is because at some point we taught that person that it was okay. And we didn't We may not have verbally said it. We may not have directly said it. um, But at some point, we allowed them to feel that that behavior was okay. And it's probably continuing because at no point did we verbally or directly say this behavior is not okay. Now, there are some people who just do horrible things to horrible to good people. However, if it's something that's continuing over time um, and becoming a habitual issue, you really need to evaluate whether or not Um, you've clearly communicated that that's not appropriate, right? But we do have to verbally express our limits to people so that they'll be aware that, hey, you violated my limit. You have crossed a boundary and I'd appreciate it if moving forward you didn't, right? Um, For me, one of the boundaries that I have in my world is I cannot spend time around people who are consistently negative. I can't do it. Energy is contagious, and if you're complaining all the time, if you're negative all the time, you have nothing positive to say, I naturally like don't want to be around because really and truly, that energy, somebody's energy is going to win. And unfortunately, positive energy is not always strong enough to combat negative energy. So... If somebody's energy is going to win, it's probably going to be the negative energy. And that means you're bringing me into your funk. And I just don't. And I learned this boundary from one of my best friends. Um, We've been best friends for years at this point. And I am susceptible to depression. And she has a very clear boundary. Like, she'll be supportive, but she's not going there with me. Um, And she'll be there as a listening ear. And I'm allowed to vent. I'm allowed to get things off my chest. I'm allowed to express how I feel. But if I'm in a funk where I'm like just completely negative and just can't get myself out of it, she's like, listen, call me when you're ready. And at first it was hurtful because it was like, but wait, I need you. But then eventually I realized, I was like, she's protecting herself. That's a boundary for her. And honestly, I I respect it because I wish more people had the courage to say, listen, this is my boundary. I won't cross it for anyone. I love you, but I'm not crossing that boundary. And we have to have the courage to set boundaries around what's acceptable in our lives because you have the right to control how you're treated. And if someone violates how they're treating you, you have a right to set consequences for that. You do. If one of your boundaries within a romantic relationship is that I will not tolerate cheating, I will not tolerate lying, and someone crosses that boundary, you now have the right to decide, hey, this is the consequence. And if you want to be fair to that person, you want to let them know up front, like, hey, These are my boundaries, and this is what will happen if it continues. 
I had a relationship where um, this is where I actually discovered that abandonment was one of my uh, boundaries. And he physically left me. Um, we had rode together to a location and he got angry and left. And I told him, I said, listen, don't ever do that again. And I, I made it very clear. I mean, this was somebody that I was going to spend the rest of my life with. And I told him, I said, it could be next month. It could be five years from now. It could be 20 years from now. Kids and all that. If you ever abandon me again, I'm leaving. Period. Now, to be fair, that was something that I always strongly felt, but because I hadn't communicated it, it wouldn't have been as fair to just walk. Valid? Possibly. And I definitely considered that option. But to be fair, he wasn't aware that that was a boundary for me. He wasn't aware that that was a deal breaker. And he wasn't aware that that was triggering something much deeper than before he got into my into my world. So to be fair, I said, okay, listen, you didn't know. I didn't know you were capable of that. Now that we've known that this is a boundary and this is unacceptable for me, don't do it again. Period. And if you do it again, I will leave you and never look back. That's it. But we have to come to the realization that boundaries are necessary for self-love. If you love yourself, you will put boundaries in place to make sure that those around you are extending the same love to you. We teach people how to love us by how we love ourselves. If I don't have time for myself, why should anyone else make time for me? If my love is supposed to be the demonstration of how Tierra deserves to be loved, and I don't make time for myself, I don't make time for my rest, I don't make time for the things that are important to me, why then would someone else decide to do that? However, I do recognize that progress is a slow process. Some things take time and that's okay. However, I do know this, those who love you and belong in your life will adjust accordingly. And those who do not decide to honor your boundaries after you've calmly and directly explained it to them, maybe they don't love you. Maybe they don't belong in your life, or maybe they don't know how to be different. Sometimes you have to teach people different. Sometimes, like with something as simple as being positive, having loving energy, and not being nasty to one another, um, believe it or not, some people have to learn that. And if they're making an effort, great. However, we also have to decide, like, what's an absolute deal breaker and what's just a boundary, right? So something like abuse, cheating, lying, those may be absolute deal breakers. Whereas something like being negative or gossiping or um, not showing support, um, those may be boundaries unless it continues long term. You see what I'm saying? Um, So you really have to evaluate what is your absolute, I will not tolerate this. What are some things that you might get a chance or two? No more than like two. But at the same time, I'm having, I'm willing to have a little flexibility with. Like what are those things? And respect yourself enough to honor your boundaries because at the end of the day it is very it's easy to set boundaries it's very difficult to honor those boundaries and uphold the consequences that come along with said boundaries but with that being said I repeat it's absolutely necessary if we're going to have a successful self-love journey teach people how to love you by loving yourself properly. Teach people how to treat you by having proper boundaries in place. 
And at the end of the day, it's worth it because you'll start to see different treatment. You'll start to see different energy. You'll start to see people honoring and respecting those boundaries. I want to hear from you guys and I want to hear what's an absolute boundary that you have for the people involved in your life. What is something that come hell or high water, this is a boundary I will not allow it to be crossed. Put in the comments. See you guys.